Did you know that you can play most of the popular Android and iOS mobile games on your Windows PC or Mac computers? Well, you can using what's called an Android emulator. There are a handful of good Android emulators out there, but I personally prefer one that is called BlueStacks. I'll quickly show you how to download, install, and configure the BlueStacks emulator, and then I'll show you how to download, install, and run the game from this video's title that you came here to see. And then after all of that, I'll show you some gameplay footage as well so that you can see how good the game runs using BlueStacks. So you'll want to open up a web browser and go to bluestacks.com. Once there, click on the green Download BlueStacks 3N button. And once this page loads, just click the green Download button here. And now I've already downloaded this to my computer, so you can see the file's already there. And it's a pretty big file, about 415 MB. But I'm just going to click Cancel since I've already got it. Downsize this. And you can see the file on my computer here is the EXE standard installation file on Windows. Just double click it and go through the process and then we'll see it here in a minute. So in order to shorten this video, I skipped the installation process since that's just kind of standard. You'll see now you have a BlueStacks desktop icon, so you open that up and it'll take just a minute, especially the first time loading. So we'll skip this and come back in just a minute. So once it has booted, you can see that it's on the Pika World tab and just want to switch it to My Apps. And you can see that Summoner's War has been installed by default. From time to time, BlueStacks will install a random app on there. That's just this way of being able to keep the software as freeware. You can just ignore it for now. So we'll go over to Settings real quick. You can see under Display and Aspect Ratio, I have it on System Default. I have a 1080p monitor, so I could switch it to that and be a little bit higher quality. I'll leave it on system default. For DPI, switch it to low if your game's running choppy, high if not. For engine, you can do OpenGL or DirectX. I usually do OpenGL, it's the most compatible. You'll want to check advanced graphics mode beta. For CPU cores, I have eight. I like to set it to four. If you set it too high, sometimes it can lag your computer. So four is pretty good. And I usually like to set it to around three gigs of RAM. So around 3000 MB should be good. Once that's done, just hit restart now and wait for a minute and it'll restart and we'll see it in just a sec. All right, so once it is restarted, I just went ahead and maximized it there. I'll go over to System Apps and click on Google Play like you would on any old Android device. We'll do a quick search for Contest of Champions. And there it is right there. Just hit the green install button. And depending on your internet connection, it may take a minute or two. It's an 86 MB download. I'm on pretty fast internet, so it's not gonna take long. And once that's done downloading, it'll begin to install, and that won't take but a few seconds. And I could hit the green open button, but I'm gonna close the tab instead and show you that it is on the home screen and open it from there. And you'll see it's opening up, and instead of boring you with trying to configure it all on this video, I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead to get some gameplay going on. All right, so we are in game now, and I'll show you a quest real quick. So you can see how well it runs in the BlueStacks emulator. And then I'll chime back in at the end of the video to kind of wrap things up. So as you can see, this game does run really, really well with the BlueStacks emulator. Didn't notice any kind of issues at all, actually. Um, and that'll be it for this video. Good luck setting up on your own computer. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.